this poem is introspection and retrospection. Introspection and retrospection is the basic essence of the poem. Now, before we start with the introduction or the text reading of the poem, I want each one of you to respond back. If we talk about what are the various ways how we can bring peace and integrity, peace and harmony in our home, in our environment, in our society, in our country, or at large in the world. What measures can you suggest me? How can we bring peace in our society so that there are no clashes, there is no disturbance? So what ways can you suggest me for that? Children, one by one, please, uh, I'm, I'm giving you the names and you people have to revert me back on this. Okay, can I have the answer first from Ambika? Ambika, are you there? Please unmute yourself. Yes, ma'am. Ambika, just a very general question. This is your perspective, right? You have not read the poem yet. We're just about it. So I'm just asking your perspective. If I ask you, what are the various ways by which, what steps we can take to bring peace and harmony in our society? So what can you suggest me for that? Ma'am, ma'am, gender equality. Okay, gender equality. Considering everybody equal, no discrimination on the basis of sex. That is what you are saying, right? Okay, she has given me one point. Uh, Akshay Tyagi, please unmute yourself. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Akshay, are you there? What suggestion you can give me dear for this? Ma'am, all the clashes that are going on in the world should be stopped, no matter what aspect it's based on. That is what I'm saying, asking you. What steps should be taken to stop these clashes? How, how can we bring peace in our society? Starting from the base, we should try to educate the youth of a society, not to discriminate anyone. Uh, on the basis of anything. Okay, so more or less the point is saying, uh, no discrimination, but you said on the basis of this, should not be any kind of discrimination on the basis of caste, color, creed, sex, or whatever. So all kinds of discriminations should be completely disappear from the world. If this happens, there'll be complete harmony and equality uh, and peace in the world. Okay, this is something when you are looking at a very broader perspective. Now let's come to the minor one. Let's come to the perspective and we are saying that let's create peace. Let's have peace within ourselves. To have peace within ourselves, at times we need to introspect and retrospect ourselves. What we are, what are we doing? How are we harming others? What actions we perform that affect others adversely or what words we use that hurt others. So this process of introspection or retrospection is a very crucial thing in bringing peace and harmony, in establishing peace and harmony, not just at the higher level when we are talking about the peace and harmony among the nations of the world, but at a smaller end also peace within ourselves. Though the word, the, the term seems, the terminology seems to be very small. Peace within ourselves, it's so easy. We can be at ease. We can be at peace. But the modern world where there are a lot of challenges, where there are a lot of troubles, we people are in a rat race where every time we are running to achieve something, they're getting peace in ourselves, having harmony, having that contentment in our lives is a big question mark, right? See, this is the gist of the poem. Why I am talking about all this? Because the poet here, Pebble on Eruda, has taken a topic which is very important and perhaps it is relevant in today's, in today's modern world, I would say. With so 
so many uh, technological advancements and we are so progressive we are doing everything we are achieving everything whether it's science whether it is a field of medical aviation whatever right infrastructure we are developing like anything so from individual to the nations at large we are very much progressive but then there is no peace so here in this poem the poet is urging its readers the poet simply says i am going to count till 12 right he says i'm going to count till 12 and i want that you people should take out few seconds where you would keep quiet now keep quiet here doesn't simply mean so this is a word to normally up to when you are very small you start listening this word in uh, from a teacher when you people are talking you are gossiping you are making a lot of, lot of noise when there's disturbance in the class somewhere the teacher is disturbed because she is not able to teach you so at that time she generally tells you keep quiet keep quiet keep quiet right but the poet here has a very different meaning of this the title of the poem we can say keeping quiet he says he urges the readers that let me count let me start with the counting and you boys you guys are when he says you people he refers to the entire world he is not just referring to his countrymen his fellow being his fa his family members or his uh, friends or or is any uh, immediate society no he's covering the entire world he's urging its readers that let's take a few minutes when the entire world would keep quiet the entire world would come to a halt there would not be any kind of disturbance any kind of commotion all the activities should be stopped all the activities should be stopped because this would be the time when we would introspect and retrospect us now this is something this is something which we can connect with actually today's period also right today's time is the time uh, i mean from last one year we people have seen that the we people have seen the lockdown period the lockdown period was full of challenges full of troubles right the lockdown period was full of challenges and troubles where uh, we got a lot of we all the activities were stopped we didn't had uh, anything to do especially in the initial days i would say jab aapki classes bhi start nahi hui thi you found your parents at home because they cannot move out for their work everybody's work stopped there was a there was an interruption in everybody's work that was the time when actually uh, people started thinking how this has happened is this because of covid or are we doing something you if you remember there were articles in the news papers and magazines which i my i myself have read it there there were various environmentalists saying this word uh, saying this thing to everyone telling that uh, people have hampered the environment to an extent that perhaps god has done this thing purposely so that it's time to retrospect what we have done how much we have done the number of you know the number of vehicles on the road the pollution which we have generated the hustle bustle of our lives rushing every time the tough competitions the challenges so this was the time which we got to take a halt to give a pause in our lives and to retrospect what's going on how it's going on and what we can do how we can uh, you know solve the issues so these are the various things we need to uh, at times it also happens in our daily lives generally we talk to ourselves whatever actions we do whatever people we the number of people we deal with there many occasions many incidents happen or hum log kai bari usko uh, analyze karte hain humne kya kiya this is something which i said i perhaps i was right perhaps i was wrong i shouldn't have behaved in that manner so this is the introspection and retrospection which you do in our daily lives so the poet pebble and aruda here is asking his readers urging his readers to take a pause for some time so that we can give so that we can uh, you know analyze what wrong we have done and he says that at least for these few seconds everybody will be united we will be at peace there will be no uh, clashes no fights no hustle bustle no running no enmity among anybody so in this these few seconds 
will be complete uniformity equality love brotherhood harmony peace and everything will be fine so that is what the poem is all about right now i'm starting reading the first passage Piyush, you are there. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Piyush, please read out the first stanza. Now we will count to twelve, and we will all keep still. For once, on the face of the earth, let's not speak in any language. Let's stop for one second and not move our arms so much. Okay. Now the first and the poem as such is in free verse. You won't find any particular pattern followed here in the poem. Uh, but the poet is—it's a very strong poem too. You know that urge to get that freedom and harmony is very strong. We find in this poem. So the poet says, "Now we will count to twelve." Now he is uh, saying, "I'll be counting to twelve. Perhaps twelve he is using because uh, the number of months in a year, or maybe he is counting the number of hours which are reflected on your clock." Right, twelve hours are generally reflected on the clock. Right, the next twelve hours, then they're repeated again. So the twelve number you see there in the clock also. So he says, "The now we will count to twelve." He says, "I'm counting till twelve, and we will all keep still." Keep still means we will all be quiet. We won't be talking. There won't be any action. No movement. Nothing at all. Everybody will just be still. for once on the face of the earth so on this entire earth for just for once we will all be quiet for few seconds let's not speak in any language see somewhere language create barriers it discriminates from one community to other from one religion to from one country one nation to another it create barriers so basically he wants to create a harmony and brotherhood and equality so he says let's not speak in any of the language because language then we will be discriminated when you are silent we'll all be together we'll be united so let's not speak in any language let's stop for one second he's just asking for one second he says for one second let's give a pause let's stop wherever we are what all we are doing let's give up everything and not move around so much and stop all kind of movements right Okay, uh, Piyush, kindly read out the first stanza. Keeping quiet is a peace poem written by the Chilean poet Pablo Neruda. The poet asks humanity to count numbers from one to twelve. Twelve being the number of hours shown in a clock, or the number of zodiac signs, he requests everyone not to speak because languages create barriers between people. The moment when everyone stops moving their body will be very special and different, as we have never experienced such a moment before. The poet says that th in this period of inactivity, wait, the fishermen. Wait. wait, this is the first stanza that I've ex already explained it to you. The moment when everyone stops moving their body and will be very special and different, as we have never experienced such a moment before. Right now, I'm coming on to the second stanza. Okay. Before I move on to the second stanza, first stanza, stanza, please check the literary devices used here. Use of vowel sound O and E, right? That is repeated here. Assonance is where the vowel sounds are repeated in a particular line. There we say it is assonance. So O and E, twelve. Now we will count to twelve and not move our arms so much. So not move R. The O is repeated here. Right and uh, second is your anaphora, where two consecutive lines starting with the word legs. So that repetition of the words, the beginning of the words, is there. So it's anaphora. Let's not speak in any language. Let's stop for one second. This is anaphora. Alliteration, we all know, the repetition of a constant sound at the start of two or more closely placed words. So we will w w sound is repeated here. So it's alliteration. 
So please mark them down in your books, assonance, anaphora, and alliteration. Ye mark kar lije aur please wahi par likh lijega. Because otherwise afterwards it becomes difficult for you people to recall what are the figures of speech. And most probably, uh, I think assonance aapke saath uh, abhi piche recently kya hai. So it, you should not forget it. So please jot it down. Okay, now coming on to the second stanza. Piyush, please read the second stanza. It would be an exotic moment without trust, without engines. We would all be together in a sudden strangeness. Fishermen in the cold sea would not harm whales, and the men in gathering salt would look at his hurt hands. Okay, it would be an exotic moment. Now the poet says, "When we all will be quiet for one second, the entire world will be quiet." No movement, no action, no doing any work, nothing at all. Absolutely still for one second. This would be an exotic or a splendid movement because there won't be any rush, there won't be any traffic, no sound, no commotion, no disturbance, no uh, no that hustle bustle and no disturbance, no sounds of the engines. Engines is as about the transportation he is talking about. We would all be together. In a sudden strangeness, in this quietness, in this strange strangeness, everyone would be together. Now, fishermen in the cold sea would not harm whales. Fishermen who are there in the cold sea, this would be the time when even they will take a pause, and they would not harm the whales, because they are fishermen. Their occupation is to catch the fish, but that would be the time when even they would not be harming the fishes or the whales. Next, he talks about the man gathering salt. Now, salt gathering is a very, uh, you know, difficult job. Difficult in the sense of it hurts the um the hands of the salt gatherers. Now, salt we all know sea water is salty. Salt is gathered from the sea, but then the salt is gathered in that raw form. It is collected. It is taken to the industries where it is processed. It's a it's a tedious task. So he says that salt gatherers. Would also take a pause. Even they would also stop, and they would have a look at their injured hands or their hurt hands. That how much that profession or that job has uh, impacted on their heart, on their hands, or on their physical health. That would be the time when they would be getting time to take a look at their hands. Right. That is the second stanza. Please read out the explanation of the second stanza. when everything will come to a standstill it will be a rare situation no one will be in a rush there will be no engines running everyone will be calm and quiet united with each other in a strange atmosphere it will be strange because it has never happened earlier no person would be harming any other living being either for food or to earn his livelihood all the people who work endlessly will get some time to look at their injuries and the damage they have caused to their body okay now when everything will come to a standstill it will be a rare situation now the poet has says when everything will come to a standstill jab sab ruk jayega to ek bahut hi different bahut hi unique situation hogi you know we felt that actually i think very we can very well correlate the situation to the uh, lockdown period never ever before anybody has experience or even uh, most of us have never ever heard this word used here lockdown in india right so it was a very unique and a different situation imagine the normal rush of the traffic movement on the roads everybody is running for their work early in the morning or all of a sudden it was silent complete silent or sky blue dikhta tha wow birds dikhte the alag alag animals nikal ke bahar aana start ho gaye because humans were shut in their houses so animals started roaming on the street so it was a very very unique very rare thing which we experienced and perhaps tomorrow to our future generations you might be telling these stories ki is year mein jab hum is class mein the we experienced a lockdown because of covid 19 and several things changed you people uh, you know started many of you started following your passions nurturing your passion i would say koi videos bana raha hai koi youtube dekhkar kuch cooking kar raha hai bahut sare logon ne bahut creativity dikhai hai lockdown mein so it was a different period because you felt the world has come to a standstill and it was a time for introspection and retrospection right so 
he says that this would be a time when no one will be in a rush there will be no engines running everyone will be calm and quiet and there will be a strange kind of unitedness in that quiet and uh, environment so it will be strange because it has never happened earlier no person would be harming any other living being either for food or to earn his livelihood isi ka example diya hai usne whales ke liye the fishermen would take a pause so the whales would also be safe for that one for that time right all the people who work endlessly will get some time to look at the injuries and damage they have caused to their body so for this particular point he has uh, spoken about the salt absorbers that be the people who gather salt from the sea they would also take a pause and they would have a look at their injured hands please read out this stanza poet says that it would be a rare situation when there will be no engines working here he wants to stay that if everything comes to stand still it will be a different moment if all the engines like the vehicles and the machines stop then there will be a sudden strange situation as the world will experience a sudden calmness people will not be in a rush to achieve material things one after another further the poet says that the fisherman will also stop and not harm whales in the sea this means that the poet is urging everyone not to harm the animals here he gives example of whales which are being hunted for the purpose of food or trade he also wants people to calm down so that they can stop and see what they have achieved or lost for this he gives the example of the man who gathers salt whose hands are hurt here he wants everyone to stop for a while in order to see and feel their achievements and how much they they have lost for the sake of attaining such materialistic things okay i think this example this explanation i have already given uh, now please have a look at the literary devices used in this passage alliteration we would again it is that sudden strangeness is again alliteration and hurt hands is alliteration so you can please jot it down simultaneously side by side in your books so that there is no difficulty afterwards okay now i don't want to proceed further with the other stanzas because we are left with last 3 4 minutes 